Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our sixth lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our sixth example which reads that the length and width of a rectangular room are 15 centimeters and 12 centimeters respectively. If each of these measurements is subject to 1.5% error, calculate the absolute error in the perimeter of the room so since we are told that uh, each of the measurements that is the length and the width are subject to 1.5 percent error we'll get the uh, actual uh, error in both the length and the width of this particular uh, rectangular room so let's start by getting the error uh, the error in the length the error in the length of this particular room will be given by so if each of the measurements, that is the length and the width, are subject to 1.5% error, it means that the error in the length will be 1.5%. Of course, a percentage is always out of 100, uh, then multiplied by the actual uh, length of this particular room, which was 15 centimeters. So we multiply by 15 uh, centimeters. So 1.5 over 100 multiplied by 15, this will give us 0 0.2 two five uh, centimeters as the error in the length therefore we can get the limits within which uh, the length lies so the actual length was 15 uh, centimeters if you want to get the maximum possible uh, length we'll take the actual length which is 15 then we add the error in the length so if you take 15 plus 0 0.225 you're going to get the maximum possible length as 15 point uh, two to five then we also need the minimum possible uh, length of this particular room as uh, subject to 1.5 percent error to get the minimum length we'll take the actual length which was 15 then we subtract 0 0.225 so 15 minus 0 0.225 this is gonna uh, give you 14 uh, 14.7 uh, so these are the limits within which our length exists we also need to get the error uh, the error now in the width the error in the width will be given by so since the length and the width were both subjected to 1.5 percent error to get the error in the width we'll take 1.5 percent then of course uh, we multiply by the actual width our actual width was given as 12 centimeters so multiplied by 12 uh, these if you compute this on the calculator, you'll get 0 0.18. Therefore, we can get the limits within which our width exists. So the actual width is um, 12 centimeters. So you can get the maximum and also the minimum. So to get the maximum possible width, you will take 12, which was the actual width. Then you add to 0 0.18. So of course, this will give you a 12.18. Therefore, this is the maximum possible width to get the minimum possible width you'll take the actual width which was 12 then you subtract 0 0.18 so 12 minus 0 0.18 uh, this is gonna give you 11.82 uh, therefore these are the limits within which our uh, width exists now because they want us to get the um, absolute error in the perimeter to get the absolute error you need to have the maximum uh, possible uh, perimeter then you also need the minimum possible uh, perimeter so that a uh, half of the difference of the two i uh, will give you the absolute error in the uh, perimeter therefore let me start by getting the maximum a uh, possible uh, perimeter that is uh, p max will be given by we know that perimeter of a rectangle is given by 2 into length plus width therefore to get the maximum possible perimeter this will be 2 uh, into the maximum possible uh, length then of course plus uh, the maximum possible uh, width so this should give us the maximum possible uh, perimeter so this will be equal to 2 into the maximum possible length uh, we already have it here so our maximum possible length is actually 15.225 uh, so I'll have 15.225 uh, then plus the maximum possible width uh, we have it here which is 12.225 uh, 1, 8. So plus 12.18. Uh, so this is going to give me uh, 2. Then of course into 
if I add uh, this particular two, 15.225 plus 12.18, this will give me 27 uh, point, uh, that is 27.405, 27.405. So two multiplied by 27.405, this will give me uh, 54, uh, 54 point eight one. Therefore, this is the maximum possible a perimeter for this particular rectangular room. Now, we also need to get the minimum possible perimeter of this particular room. Now, in order to get the minimum perimeter, that is P minimum, we need to have 2 into length plus width. So, to get the minimum perimeter, we'll use the uh, minimum possible uh, length. Then, of course, we add the minimum uh, possible uh, width. So this will be equal to 2 into uh, the minimum possible uh, length was 14.775. So this is 14.775 then plus the minimum possible width will be 11.82. 11 uh, 11 uh, so this will give us 2 uh, into 14.775 you add to 11.82. Uh, this will give you a total of uh, 26.595. Uh, 26.595. So to multiply by 26.595, uh, this will give you a total of uh, 53, uh, 53.19. Therefore, this is the maximum possible uh, perimeter of this particular rectangular room. Now, the question wants the um, absolute error in the perimeter of the room. Now, for us to get the um, absolute error in the perimeter of the room, so absolute error, absolute uh, error, absolute error uh, in the perimeter, in the perimeter of the room will be given by, so to get the absolute error, we'll take a half of the maximum possible perimeter, so a half of P max, uh, then minus uh, the minimum possible uh, perimeter of that particular room. So this will be equivalent to a half into our maximum uh, possible uh, perimeter. We got it as 54.81. So I'm having 54.81, then minus the minimum possible perimeter is 53, uh, 53, then point one. Nine, so this is gonna give me a half uh, into so fifty four point eight one uh, minus fifty three point one nine. This will give me the difference will be one point uh, six two. Then of course one point six two uh, divided by two. I'm gonna get a uh, zero point a uh, zero point eight one uh, centimeters. Therefore, this is the absolute error in the perimeter of this particular rectangular room. Now, so that is uh, one way that we can handle it. So there's also another way uh, in which we can uh, handle uh, this particular question using directly uh, the formula for the percentage uh, error. So alternatively, we can also handle it this way. So we can say or we know that to get the percentage error, the percentage uh, error in the perimeter, percentage error in the perimeter, given by percentage error in the perimeter should be given by the absolute error absolute error uh, in the perimeter absolute error in the perimeter divided by the actual perimeter divided by the actual uh, actual uh, perimeter actual perimeter then of course multiplied by a hundred percent so this is the formula forgetting the percentage error of the perimeter now because we are told that if each measurement each of these uh, measurements was subject to 1.5 percent error it means that the percentage error of this particular perimeter will also be 1.5 percent therefore the value that we are lacking we have the percentage error 100 percent we have it uh, absolute error in the perimeter this is what we are looking for so we also need the actual uh, perimeter now to get the actual perimeter, so P actual, actual perimeter, we are going to say this will be 2 into length. We need the actual uh, length, then of course plus the actual uh, width. 
So this will be given by 2 into our actual length was 15 centimeters. So I'll have 15, then of course plus our actual width was 12 centimeters. So this is gonna give me 2 into uh, 15 uh, plus 12, 15 plus 12, that will give me 27. So of course this will be 2 multiplied by 27, I'm going to get the actual uh, perimeter being equal to 54 uh, centimeters. So this is the actual perimeter. Now, if I substitute in my formula here, uh, the percentage error in the perimeter, of course, is 1.5%. Uh, uh, so I'll say 1.5%, I'm just substituting here, which is the percentage error in the perimeter, should be equal to absolute error in the perimeter. So this is the absolute error in the perimeter, then divided by the actual perimeter. My actual perimeter is 54 uh, centimeters. So this is 54 centimeters then multiplied by 100%. So the unknown is the absolute error in the uh, perimeter. So this is gonna give me the following. So I'm going to have, so I'm having 1.5% being equal to absolute error in the perimeter over 54 multiplied by 100%. So to solve this, I can uh, multiply both sides of the equation uh, by 54. So I'll multiply this by 54. I also multiply this side by uh, 54 so that these two can uh, cancel out. So I'm going to remain with 1.5% uh, multiplied by uh, 54. Remember it was 54 uh, centimeters should be equal to absolute error in the perimeter multiplied by 100%. So to remain with absolute error in the perimeter, I'll divide through by 100%. I also divide this side by 100% so that uh, these two can actually uh, cancel out. So, of course, the two percentages will also cancel out. So I'm remaining with 1.5 uh, multiplied by 54 centimeters. Then, of course, divided by 100 to give me the absolute error uh, in the perimeter. Therefore, my absolute error, the absolute error, in the perimeter, absolute error in the perimeter, in the perimeter will be given by, so I'm having a 1.5 uh, multiplied by 54 uh, centimeters, then of course divided by 100. So this will give me, if I take um, 1.5 multiplied by 54, uh, this is gonna give me uh, 81. So I'll get 81 uh, centimeters, then of course over 100. So 81 over 100, this will still give me 0 0.81, 0 0.81 centimeters. So you can see this particular answer is the same, same answer that we had gotten in the uh, first working. So those are the two possible approaches. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.